Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you've given us. It enables us to take yet another walk down everyday psychology lane. So let's begin. What comes to your mind when you hear the word introvert? Is it that shy wallflower daydreaming in the social gathering or the quiet kid who rarely spoke up in class? But wait, did you know there is much more that describes an introvert than just their socializing frequency or lack thereof? There are even different types of introverts. Who knew, right? By definition, introverts need time by themselves to recharge and avoid becoming emotionally drained. But according to research by a psychology professor at Wellesley College, there are four different types of introverts. These types take into account the varied personalities of introverts and acknowledge that introversion is a spectrum. With that being said, here are the four types of introverts. One. Social introvert. A uh, social introvert? Yeah, you heard that right. Social introverts are both the most outgoing and the most private of the four types. They don't feel shy or anxious in social settings and may even enjoy them, but they feel emotionally drained if they stay out for too long. While social introverts like spending time alone, they still want a few close friends they can depend on, and they tend to be the most social when they're among this group of friends. Someone who doesn't know them might even assume that they're an extrovert if they meet them when they're hanging out with their close friends, but social introverts won't share much about themselves to anyone other than their closest friends. Two, thinking introvert. Here, you can conjure the image of the daydreaming wallflower. Thinking introverts also don't mind socializing, but they rarely do so because they're lost in their own little world. They often find themselves daydreaming and may seem aloof to those who don't know them. Thinking introverts are also very introspective and therefore more in tune with their feelings than the average person. Other people may have a hard time connecting with thinking introverts because they have a unique thought process and prefer to experience their thoughts rather than taking the time and energy to explain them to others. Three, anxious introvert. Do you know of someone who might replay social encounters in their head and think about what they said or did and what they could have done differently? Perhaps a better label for the anxious introvert is the shy introvert. To differentiate anxious introversion from anxiety disorders, anxious introverts crave solitude, even when they're with their close friends. They're extremely uncomfortable in new or large social situations and analyze or ruminate on their behavior whenever they're in public. But it's important to look out for social anxiety disorders and not have the two mixed. In extreme cases, this aversion to social situations may develop into social anxiety. Although any personality type, introverts, extroverts, or ambiverts can experience social anxiety or other anxiety disorders. But if you avoid necessary social situations because you have strong physical reactions, such as shaking, increased heart rate, or nausea during them, it is a sign of social anxiety and not shyness and requires professional attention. And four restrained introvert. Now, this is your introvert next door kind of type. They get uncomfortable if they feel rushed into situations, especially social ones. Restrained introverts are reserved, thoughtful, and don't like change. They'll go out if they've planned for it far enough in advance, but they would rather be relaxing by themselves, binging on their favorite shows, reading, or doing yoga. Restrained introverts find comfort in their routine and may also find it difficult to get their mind and body moving right after they wake up. They thrive in their routine and appreciate ample forewarning. If you think you're an introvert but didn't relate to any of these four types, you may be an ambivert or closer to the extrovert side of the personality spectrum. Learning more about your personality type helps you communicate your needs to people with different personality types and strengthens interpersonal relationships. Did you find this insightful? Will you now be able to tell the different types apart? Can you think of any other types? If you're an introvert, which of these four types did you relate to? Share this with an introvert you know to find out what type they are. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.